July the 10th, 2023. Guys, in the video yesterday, we mentioned that coming out of the Appalachian chain, we're going to build up a lot of rain along the northeast coast, and it's happened. They're claiming now, this morning, that it was in a, a thousand year rainfall event. Not a hundred year, but a thousand year. So it batters the Hudson Valley with flash floods. Severe storms dumped heavy rain across New York State on Sunday evening. On Monday morning, people woke up in some areas to impassable roads. That's this morning. Flooded homes, stranded vehicles, and other damage. At least one death was confirmed by authorities overnight. Looking at the images, guys, I'm afraid that uh, toll may rise. The Hudson Valley area is the most affected by the storm. Meteorologists say the region that stretches along the Hudson River from Westchester County to Albany received upwards of five and eight inches of rain in six hours. A once in a thousand year rainfall event has occurred in the last six to eight hours in Hudson Valley. They're saying this is particularly bad from a peak skill to Woodbury, major flooding is ongoing. Now there's a lot of videos on this link that I'm gonna to send to you again. You can go to zerohedge.com and look up thousand year rain event. There's gonna be a lot of videos that I can't really show them here without a copyright strike, but we'll look at some images. They're saying footage of the flooding from Hudson Valley is shocking. Route 218 from Cornwall to West Point is gone. The uh, radar estimates that over 10 inches of rain fell today, nearly the amount it typically falls over an entire summer. Parts of the Hudson Valley are dealing with rising waters devastating floods and tragic loss of life. It says, my heart breaks for our community and the families and business owners who live and have been upended by this extreme weather event. Please know I'll be with every single one of you. This is Paul Ryan, or Pat Ryan, excuse me. Terrible scenes out at the Highland Falls, West Point area, flash flood emergency in effect. They're saying it's a state of emergency after these deadly floods in New York, uh, 195.83 millimeters of rain recorded at West Point, 7.71 inches. Sunday night, Governor Kathy Hochul declared a state of emergency for Orange and Ontario counties. She said there were reports of missing individuals. I have announced a state of emergency for Orange County, which has experienced life-threatening uh, threatening flooding over the past few hours. We are in close communication with local officials and state agencies participating in search and rescue efforts. As we don't know how much power's down, how much communication is down. So if you've got friends or family in this area, try to contact them now. Again, people are missing. It says State Senator James Scoffis, who represents Orange County, confirmed at least one person has died from the flash floodings. Significant flooding in Stony Point. Homes and cars and many people evacuated. There's cars underwater. Roadways have been flooded and washed out. Representative Mike Lawler, who represents New York's Hudson Valley area, tweeted, and guys, in the end times, we're going to see this, these events occur. Things are not going to be easy. Look at the heat and the blackouts that we're dealing with. Now the floods, and uh, we've been spared from the hurricanes so far, but things are really getting tight, and they're going to be something we have to pay closer and closer attention to as we get into these end times. Now here's one image. This is the road that goes up to West Point, guys. You can see that coming off the hill to the right, it, this highway is gone. And I think this runs down into the Hudson Valley from the other side. But guys, uh, imagine going through this at night and not being able to see it last night. Now the rains are continuing. Flash flood watches are still up. This is another image. And you can see how the wall along the highway has trapped the water there. And it's kind of a wall to keep people from running off down into that valley. But here it's acted as a dam. And these cars are stranded. Some of them you can still see the lights are on. They're more than likely moving in this depth of water. This is a tweet from Mike Lawyer. Again, it's on the uh, link that I'm going to send to you. But this says significant flooding in Stony Point. Homes and cars and many people evacuated. Thank you to all our first responders on the scene. Everyone stay off the roads as the flash flooding warning is still in effect and roadways have been flooded and washed out. You can see the debris through here, the cars underwater, and uh, the rivers out of their banks here. Here, more images coming in from that area. And guys, again, this is in people's homes and it's gonna heat up. We got the summer left. Don't know what kind of power they 
folks have here to let us know in the comment if you have more information it's important because other people from that area can come to our channel and look at your comments and tell them a little bit more about what's going on because if you're there you are boots on the ground now this is a still shot from that area there's a video on the link that i'm going to send you or put up under the video and uh, there's looks like it's being taken from the roof of this house there's a lady standing on a small bridge and it comes under this creek and it's washing down through here in just torrents and it will take out anything trees cars people if it gets into the houses it can blow them out we don't know the power situation again but uh, guys keep an eye on it we're still under a flash flood watch uh, maybe the heat will stay down they get the power back on and some relief to you but again it's a heads up be safe check on your friends and families